Hey guys, so today I wanted to share what's in my travel makeup bag because I am visiting my brother in the US right now so I brought a ton of makeup with me. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys and I'm going to start with my bag. This is a YSL bag that used to be my mom's. It holds everything in it and it's really really good so yeah that's the makeup bag I have but just a side note I'm not gonna go into detail because there's so much products in here and if I go into detail about each one this will be like an hour long video so I'm just gonna get started and the first thing in here is the scandalized mascara from Rimmel I have the Schwing eyeliner from the bomb which I really like I brought the Garnier Skin Renew anti dark Circle Roller with me, which is super good if you don't want to wear any makeup, but you just want like a nice pick-me-up for the skin. I also have the Hot Mama Blush from The Balm, which I absolutely adore. I have this Clear Great Lash for my eyebrows, and I also have this mascara from When I'm Wild, and this is like the Mega Lash one. It's super cool, like one side is skinny, one side is flat. And what else do I have in here? I have the Benefit Eyeshadow and Soft Shoulder, which is like the perfect color. I absolutely adore this. I think I'm going to do such a big dent in it because I just use it all the time. I brought a lip scrub with me. This one is from Forever 21 and I really like it. I have this Smashbox High Definition Concealer, which I just got from Sephora as soon as I got here. So yeah, it's kind of new, but it's in my makeup bag. I only brought one foundation with me, and this is the Nature Lux Foundation from CoverGirl. I love this one. It's my favorite one. You probably saw it so many times in my videos, and I adore this one. I also have a bunch of Pixi products that I got from Hot Look that were waiting for me in my brother's house here. So yeah, I have a ton of them now in my makeup bag. That's why it's so filled. But um, I think I'm going to do a separate haul for them. But I have the Flawless Beauty Stick, the All Over Magic, and I have two of the shadow pens type products. I also have this um, Magic Tink Tint from Pixie. Oh, and I have this um, Correct and Protect, um, what is this, like a tinted moisturizer type product, which I hate, but yeah, this one is from Pop Beauty. And I got all of these at the same time from Hot Look. So I'll link below the Hot Look site if you want to check that out. But yeah, what else do I have in here? I have the Ribbon S Paint Pot from MAC, which I just started using again. I used it a ton last year, and then I just stopped. And I got back into it like this past two months, and I love this. I also got the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I also bought another cream eyeshadow with me and this one is the Maybelline Bat to the Bronze Color Tattoo and I used this so much recently. Oh my god, I love this. So pretty. I brought the MAC Blush in Mocha which is just a really pre pretty everyday color. And then another really pretty pink blush is this one in Doll Face from Tarte. And yeah, I just love this one. It looks so pretty on. Uh, this is another thing I got from Hot Look. This is like a duo of two mascaras. One is brown and one is black. And the, they are from Pop Beauty. And they're really, really good. I really love these. I also have this single eyeshadow in Kitten from Wet n Wild. Which is a really, really pretty purple color. I also have this trio in I'm Feeling Retro. Which is just really fun and bright. I brought the Cheetah Mascara from The Balm, which is more of like a natural looking mascara for me. I just feel like it makes my lashes a little bit separated, but they don't look like there's a ton of mascara on them, which I really like. I brought a few eyeliners, actually more than a few, but I have the Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeliner in the shade Deep Blue, which is like a navy blue. I have this brown one from Smashbox in the shade Java. This one is another one I got from Hot Look. This one is in Black Blitz and it's from Pop again. I hate this so much. Don't get it. This Just pass on this. Get everything else and pass on this because it's so bad. Not creamy at all. I, just, I hate it. I also brought my favorite eyeliner with me which is the Annabelle Call Liner in Black. and It's perfect. I also brought this other one from Wet n Wild and it's just like a duo of this white eyeshadow base and this black eyeliner. And then for highlighter, I brought this e.l.f. Radiance Enhancer in the shade Spotlight, which I love. It has this like brush type product dispenser. I don't know. I just, I love this so, so much. I also brought this Maybelline Gel Liner, which I love and it's really, really long wearing. And some more blushes I brought is the Cabana Boy from The Balm, which is just like this darker one. And I brought this 
um, fluorescent pink one from White and Wild. For bronzer, I brought my favorite one, which is the Bahama Mama bronzer from The Bomb. This one is freaking amazing. I love it. I bought a travel size of the Photo Finish Primer from Smashbox. And then another concealer. This one is the Time Bomb Concealer from The Bomb. And love it. Look at how big this dent is. It's just crazy. And then another product I just bought when I got here is this... Revlon Nearly Naked Powder, which I've been using so, so much recently. And this one I bought from Sephora. This is the Naked Basics from Urban Decay, and I love this. I've been using it so, so much recently, especially Naked 2 and Faint and Venus. Then everything else in here are lip products. Can you tell I'm crazy? I think I'm crazy. <laughs> but yeah, I have a ton, a ton, a ton of lip products in here. I, I brought way too many, and I bought more in Target way too many as well but yeah let's get started and i have a ton of the like pencil type products i i just love these so much i have the covergirl lip perfection jumbo gloss balm and it actually doesn't say it on here but i think it was like hot pink twist something like that like hot as in hot look you know the same type of hot yeah I don't know the name of it to be completely honest I think that's the name but it's a really really pretty like vibrant pink and I have four of the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains which are my faves oh my god I love these um I had these for like a year and something now and I love them and then I just got a new one and like a week ago and this one is in the shade Cherish which is a really pretty like cool pink color I also bought this one when I was in Target and this is the elf jumbo lip gloss stick in the shade pink umbrellas and it's a really really pretty pink color i've been using it a lot recently and it was only two dollars which was really great and then for lipsticks i have this one from wet and wild and it's in the shade pink slip and it's a really pretty like dark what is this like a rose shade i don't know it's really pretty though this is another one from wet and wild and it's just like this really pretty light pink color I don't know why I just swatched it because I didn't swatch any other ones but this one is beautiful I love it yeah I also brought my MAC lipstick in Love Lauren which is like my fave lipstick ever but I'll swatch it for you because I love it I love it another MAC lipstick I brought is Cream Cup which is just a really pretty nudish color and I'll swatch this one too then I brought the Revlon Lip Butter in Peach Parfait, which is this like really pretty dark peachy color. And again, I'm swatching for no apparent reason. This I just got from Target and I'm super excited for this. But this is the Color Whisper from, what is it? I think it's Maybelline. And this one is in the shade Cherry on Top. And it's like a really pretty bright pink color I love it I actually have another one but it's in my purse these are one of my favorite products ever this is the um, color rich bombs from L'Oreal I have these two for like a while now like a year plus and I just got two more because I love these but I have Kirin Coral I have Rose Elixir and then the two that I just got from Target are Pink Satin and Province Romance so these are like lighter colors and they're really pretty. And then I brought two lip balms. I have this huge one from Wet n Wild which is the Juicy Lip Balm. So this has a little bit of like a pink tint and yeah it's pretty. Then I also brought this one which the label is completely rubbed off. And then the last two products in here are two lip glosses. I brought the Smashbox Lip Gloss in Illume and the NYX Lip Gloss in Beige. And it's empty. Oh yeah, finally. My voice is hurting right now because I talked for like 15 minutes straight. Oh, it's crazy. And now I'm like all swatched out. Look at this madness. They don't even all fit in there. I'm just, I don't even know what I'm going to do. Now, don't think I'm done. I have more stuff in this bag that I couldn't fit. I brought a few palettes with me. I brought my new Tooth palette from The Balm, which I just did a giveaway for and I announced the winner on the video. So if you haven't seen that, then go check it out. But... Yeah, I love this palette a lot. I also brought another neutral palette and it's the Naked Palette from Urban Decay, which I love, 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 love. So yeah, I love this, especially this color, which you can tell that I used a ton of. I also have this 
palette that I got from Hot Look at the same time like the rest of the stuff and this is the Pop Portfolio palette which I actually really like. The colors are really really pigmented and has really pretty like vibrant colors and then also really pretty neutral colors and it's the perfect palette honestly it's really good and it wasn't like expensive it was like eight dollars i think on sale so that was really good and i also have the comfort zone palette from when i'm wild which which is so pretty and again another neutral palette i totally need so many right and then i have this mini inglot palette that i did a while ago it has like purples and blues and a brown it's, it's really random but yeah, I just thought I'll bring something with color because I forgot I bought this online, so... I also brought another neutral palette. Yeah, I know. Crazy. But this one is tiny, so it's fine. This one is Sunbaked Neutrals from Maybelline, so... Yeah, it just looks like this. It's really, really pretty. And then everything else in this bag is like brushes and eyelashes and random stuff. So, yeah. That was basically everything. I know I'm a little... a little... A little maybe a lot crazy so yeah that was everything i really hope you guys like this video and i'll see y'all next time bye